if there was someone whose stock went up in defeat and truly did show that he is one of the elite of the elite, it was yeah. Gilbert Dorino Burns. And now he joins us for one round with Dorino Gilbert Burns. A few days removed from a fantastic fight, my friend. How are you feeling? Good, good, brother. Too good to know. Uh, heart hurts a little bit because for sure I'm I'm uh, I'm thankful all the things everybody's saying, but that fight was very winnable when I lost. You know, mm -hmm. very winnable. We got super close, but you know, got a win bonus, got these, got that, but I lost. You know, that wasn't the goal, but I, I'm still still happy with the performance. You know, put in the show. And showing showing everybody that the guy is not a superman. There's nothing crazy about this guy. He can get hurt and drop him a couple of times, but it is what it is, you know. You know, you look back on making the decision to fight Hamza Chimaev when a lot of people didn't want to fight him, Gilbert. And you know, you were the number two ranked fighter in your weight division, and it was a huge risk. Looking back on it after having such an epic fight. Would you do it all over again the exact same way? For sure. Even if I had get beat up very bad, I'm, I don't, I got to put on the line. I'm a fighter, you know, and I'm different from these guys. You know, these guys are like, they got, oh, I'm the number two. I'm the number five. I'm the, bro, you're just a freaking number. If you're not the champion, if you're not the number one, you, you just numbers, you know? Everybody know who's the Olympic champion is, right? Oh, this guy's the Olympic champion, yeah. And who is the number five? Who's the, no one remembers that. So I'm not holding on to that position. I'm taking all the risks. I want to become a champion. And all the gold then becoming a champion is fighting the, the best guys. And it, that was done, you know, for sure. Choose two steps back or becoming a champion, having another title shot, but no regrets from this fight. You know, Gilbert. We spoke on Friday uh, yeah. for my YouTube channel, and you said he's not the boogeyman. He's not different. He's not going to be anything different than I've seen inside the octagon to get, uh, before. So when you were in there with Hamza Chimaev, was there anything surprising in terms of something he did well or something that you may have expected him to do well that he did not do inside of the octagon? I thought he was going to grapple more. I thought he was going to try to strike more. Freaking guy knocked me down. He got a good momentum on top. But, bro, I'm, I'm no white belt right here, bro. I'm going to keep it grappling. I'm going to keep it being offensive. A couple hundred feet, a little, a little, I lost, but was a good, like, arm lock att attempt just to get him out of. And then I back it up. And then I'm like, oh, you don't like that, right? And uh, I hear a couple I, I have a guy from Sweden at San Fernando Bay, and he said, no, the coach was screaming so loud. No more wrestling. No more wrestling. <laughs> no. And, uh, and no blood. Stop brawling. No more wrestling. And he saw the guy stop to wrestling. So <laughs> nothing. I thought he was going to wrestle and grapple a little bit more. And uh, But yeah, but he didn't. But other than that, like like I said, no, the only regret, the only regret that I have is to accept that fight on three rounds. I should get that fight in five rounds the way I ask. And I should fight a little bit more, but they send the country with three with three rounds. They call out me and say, oh, me, five rounds. And we fall a little bit. They say, no, my regret, I should fight a little bit more. You know, it's crazy, though, because now we are seeing that. That third right fight from the, the uh, main event from the top can be a five-round yeah. fight. We saw with Nate yeah. Diaz. <laughs> Uh, we saw with Nick Diaz when he fought. So it can be five rounds. And in the way that the fight was trending, it seemed as though, Ryan, maybe you agree, maybe you don't. If we go two more rounds, it seemed as though Dorino was the one that was building. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. You know, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to take nothing away from Hamza. Nothing. The guy was a warrior. But bro, people will be more entertaining. We'll see who's going to draw first. And the way I see DC, we're not done yet, bro. I'm not done with Hamza. Hamza is right. not done with me. For sure, for sure, he earned, he going to fight Kobe next, but I'm not done with him. I'm going to face this guy again. Don't matter when, don't matter who. And I'm done with the three rounds fight you, bro. I don't want to do three rounds. No <laughs> you choose to fight longer. This, hey, this guy wants to fight longer. I mean, he, 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 he looked like he could have fought 
all night, even though that fight was as as violent and as and, and as brutal and as competitive of a fight that we had the entire night. You said after the fight, though, that you were going to look at the rankings and see how both of you guys ended up after this fight. And bringing you on, DC said you earned a ton of respect in a loss. I think you became more of a fan favorite. I think you have so many people that are behind you. Now, what is the next step for you? Because you keep saying you want to fight for championships. You want to fight the best. And you also just mentioned not being done with Hamza Chimaev. What's the next step for you as you continue to try to take that journey to be the champion? I want a big fight next. You know, I want a big fight next. I don't know when. I, I kind of understand if, if Hamza fights Kobe, you know, if Kobe accepts the fight, just putting my name out there. If Kobe don't accept, I accept. And, uh, and the other thing too, the whole top five is busy, you know. This week in Luke is fighting Bilal Muhammad, number five and number six. Mm -hmm. uh, number two now, Kobe is fighting Kamaru and uh, Hamza might fight Kobe. So no one in the top five. I want a big fight, you know. Maybe I, I know that name is always on the back of my head. It's freaking Nate Diaz. Still got one more fight in the UFC. I can put it on the contract that I'm not going to shoot that guy, that I'm that we just going to be on stand up. Uh, maybe his brother Nick, or um, I don't know, maybe my I know I, I give a little steps backwards to the title shot. Top five is all busy. I want a big fight. And I think the way you just put it on, I think I expect, I, I, I deserve a big fight right now. Mm -hmm. Now, given the opportunity to this guy and put on a show that I did for sure, didn't get a win. But next, I want a big fight. You know, I, I think I, I deserve a big fight right now. You know, you went from two to four, which isn't that much of a drop. Uh, one more win, and you're right back in line with where you want to be. But over the course of the week, we saw you two uh, have interactions, and the interactions became more and more tense as the week went on. Uh, you say that you're not done with Hamzat. Does that have anything to do with uh, the 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 face-to-face the -face where he called you small. Then it seemed like you guys were going to get after each other at the weigh-ins. Did it become a yeah. little bit more personal to Gilbert Burns as the fight got a little closer? I tried to don't 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 let it get personal, but it did get personal. Like, and then even he say, "Oh, his kids talk to me. My kids never talk to him, bro. Never. Really? And, uh, because that was one of the things, right? He was like, it was hard for yeah. him." Because talking to your kids, he wants to fight a killer like himself yeah. when he had that feeling for your family after speaking to your children. He fought a killer, bro, and, and I'm a killer, but he never talked to my kids. And uh, in little things, he hit to wish it, you know, like, oh, he's a mall. Yeah, he said, he want to show me your power. I freaking show my power, brother. You were in your, you know, you were in your hands that you're doing the push-ups in the middle of the fight. So... <laughs> <laughs> I, I lost okay i lost but he did a push up in the middle of the fight a couple of times and your coach like begging you to don't wrestle you know so i think i think it proved a point and i i think we're not done bro he said so many things he i i said my only regret is that fight was in the five rounds i don't want to take nothing away from him i think he did a good job i think he landed the powerful shots the stats say, say one thing, the jersey say another thing. I don't want to put that. So, Gil, stat. you think you won the fight? Yeah. You think you won the fight? I think we're super close. I, it's hard. Yeah. It's, I'm not a judge. It's hard for me to say that I win. I don't want, like, again, I don't want to take nothing away from this guy. But if I were super close, we needed like three, maybe five more rounds to decide that, you know, to yeah. see who really won that fight. What, what makes it so hard for you, Gilbert, to accept this loss? Is it that you just feel like you're a better fighter than Hamza Chimaya? You just feel out you rank, figure, feel, feel like you ran out of time in the three rounds. Why is it so hard? Why do you just keep saying, I regret losing this fight when everybody feels like you fought so well, you fought so great, and you truly kept yourself at the top of the championship contenders? Because that fight was very winnable. The fight was, was, was winnable. It, it's like the way... For me, it's easy for you to explain to, to the guys at home is you get a food that you just cook. You cook a meat, you were there, 
you marinate, you put all the sauce, you in there, you grill it, you put on point, everything mm -hmm. stays so good. You take a little bite, say, man, that's perfect. Whenever you're going to bite, that food is leaves on the floor, the dog cats, the food you don't eat. <laughs> that, that's my feeling, bro. I did everything. <laughs> I, I put in such a hard work. I, 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 bro, I have a psychologist. I have a nutritionist. I have my PT. I have a higher coach, a higher training partners. I put so much work to this fight. And the fight was very winnable. And I lose it. I, I'm, 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 I'm I mean, I'm very thankful to, to the UFC, to the fans, to the, to the support that people are giving me, but the fight was very winnable and I didn't win, I didn't do enough. So the way I see, I'm not done with Hamza. I, 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 the, the opportunity that I give to him, I want the opportunity back. Now that you yeah. pass in the ranks, that you're there, I, I'm, I'm going to look to 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 another shot at you whenever, I don't know, if you fight Kobe or if you fight tomorrow. I want to see this guy again. And, yeah. and we're not done. We got to finish it. I'm not done with Hamza. Last question, Gil, before I let you go. Um, you fought Kamaru Usman. Mm -hmm. Hamza Chimaev was that hot young prospect that everybody was talking about. Usman may be in trouble. This is the guy. After sharing the octagon with him, what does the fight look like between him and Usman? Like, with your opinion, him and Usman, what do you think a fight between them two look like? And do you feel after being in there 15 minutes with them that he presents as many challenges as the world may have thought that he would to the champion, Kamar Usman? The way I see, right, I heard both guys, but one guy finished me. Yeah. That guy's Kamar. And the guy has a freaking very high IQ as a fighter. That, that's what he gives to the guy. For sure, the heart, the abilities, we kind of right there, you know, top one, two, we all there. We have a great abilities. We have a great heart mentality. But the IQ is the difference, I think. I think Kamaru right now has a different IQ, different experience, being under pressure so many times with the big fights. I think right now, Kamaru, Kamaru beats Amda Shimaev. The way I see, I might be wrong, we shall see. But with my opinion being there, with both guys, I did three rounds with both guys. One guy finished, the other don't. I just, that's the why I see Kamaru still the best pound for pound right now in the champion of this division because he's IQ. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us, man. And thank you so much for your efforts inside that octagon last weekend, bro. You have nothing to hang your head about. I know as fighters, it's tough to move yeah. forward. But trust me, with the momentum that you took from last weekend, Moving forward will be much easier for you than it may have been in the past. So congratulations again, and thank you again for joining us, Gilbert. Man, thank you, brother. Great fight, man. Really appreciate you joining me. For sure. Thank you, guys. Thank you, the fans. And uh, I move forward. I move forward, but I will see these guys soon. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.